Welcome, you are listening to Get to the Point with Callie Clayman. I'm so excited to be back in NYC where I'm in quarantine in the dorms, and our guests for episode four will be joining me here in the dorms in a few months. I miss Tyella, and I'm so elated to catch up with her today. So, let me welcome you to the podcast you listen to to make the most of your pre-pro journey. A quick disclaimer. This podcast is owned and operated by me. It does not represent the views, positions, or opinions of any of the schools, businesses, or the companies that my guests or I have attended or are currently associated with. Tayella, welcome to Get to the Point. Today, we're going to be doing my rhythmic gymnastics ballet leg flexibility routine with our Unica leg warmers. And our Unica leg warmers, yes! Callie has on the gray ones that I, my mom, I have to say I made for her. No, I can't sew. My mom <laughs> made for her when we were in New York. And these are a new one that I'm wearing right here that my mom just made. And they will be going up on the site very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Okay, Tyler, so you have a leg warmer company, Unica. Yes, I do. They have traveled with me from SAB to home and back. I love these legs so much. They're like my, literally my favorite pair. Thank you. I'm so glad you love them. Like I, I literally, I have these on every day before class because my legs get so cold. I'm so glad you love them. Um, yeah, we're just... Our main goal when it comes to this brand is really to just create beautiful, comfortable, and affordable leg warmers. And I feel like it's super important that a dancer feels comfortable in their own skin, is really prepared to take on the stage no matter where they go. And I feel like in Unica Dance, where every dancer has the power to be comfortable in their own skin and to feel great no matter what, whether it's walking down the street, in the theater, in the studio, doesn't matter. And there's so many different prints and styles that like you can express yourself in any which way possible, which is what I really love about them. Definitely. Congratulations. I mean, I'm so happy. Like, literally, I wear these in the studio. I've even worn them out to like dinners. Like I will slip them up over <laughs> like, dance clothes and wear them to a restaurant. I mean, it's like a perfect warm up and a warm up. Great, I love them. Thank you. I'm glad you love them. And yeah, let's do it. So yeah, that's a good way to start. We're gonna start how Cal is starting. We're just gonna do some rolling out. Good. And what's your opinion on rolling out, Callie? Like, what's the importance of it in your opinion? Oh my gosh, it's so vital in my routine. I think. Um, it really gets your blood circulating and your muscles just like feeling good before you mm-hmm. start exercising them more. Definitely. I like to do it before bed and stuff at night because when I wake up, I feel so much better. And I just like sometimes, because I like to take a lot of time rolling out and I don't have a lot of time before class to do it sometimes. Like I prefer to do mine at night, but yeah. So much benefit from it. Uh-huh. It's really good if you take a hot shower and do it afterwards. Yes. Oh my god, so many benefits. I really I've been meaning to get one like yours, like the um the stick ones, because this one you have to like always changing positions on it. It's so annoying. <laughs> I love this one, but this one mm-hmm. um, like around like my quads and like the fascia of my knee. It gets in there better. High. Yeah, and so this just like gets in there so good. Oh my god, this little dog just wants to be up in everything, I swear. Aww. Ella, you have to go, sweetie. We, <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not, it's not, it's not about you today. It's not about you. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I like to roll out my quads mostly because that's, I feel a lot in my quads and it's really good for that. Also like my hamstrings, calves, I always love it. It hurts so bad, but like, feels so good afterward. I like this one where you just like 
put your roller on and go Oh, uh, yeah, that one's great. Oh my God, we sound like crazy people. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to like kick my feet up and touch my toes. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's get started. Okay. So we're just gonna start with a quick warm up because I never like to go like into stretching right away. I always like to like warm up my body a bit because if you go into like splits right away, you can end up injuring your body and we don't want that. So let's go with some, <laughs> let's start with just like a quick warm up. So we're just going to go into like a second position and we're just going to like warm up our hips a little bit. So we're just going to go down into this kind of position and just hold it just to feel our muscles and like warming up a bit. So I just like to hold this for a little bit. Hold in the squatting position. And I like to do it turned out because like, I feel like when like, you're in the turned in position, it's more like targeting your butt and we kind of just want to like target those turn out muscles in our hips. Totally. So it's really good for that, rock side to side. Or like, you can do like some bounces as well if you want more of a challenge. These ones really get the blood going, really Woo! burning, burning. <laughs> but yeah, good for that. And then once I feel like my muscles kind of warm up, I start the stretching process. So yes, I love doing those before class as well because they're perfect for like opening up those hips. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're going to go into like this kind of like parallel position like this. And we're just gonna stretch forward and hold this position and just opening up our hamstrings and like our calves as well, it's really good. Yeah, and then bend the back leg. Just get into that calf. You can also like sit into your hip a little bit as well and you can feel it in your butt. Really good. And then straighten up and then flex the front foot and just pull it back. Really get into it. <laughs> get into it. Now we're gonna turn to the center and we're just gonna grab our elbows and just hang down here. I love this one. It feels so good. It like stretches your spine. It's such a weird Yes, thing. it like when you let yourself just hang like without holding any muscle. It feels so good. And I kind of just like swing from side to side a little bit to get more into like each of my legs. And then I turn to the other side. And we do the same thing. I always find it good to like slowly move into the harder stuff. Cause like if you go straight into harder stuff, it's like really easy to injure yourself. And I feel like as dancers, we're always like pushing ourselves to like the extent and like trying to do everything. But I feel like when warming up, it's good to just kind of move into it really slowly. Yeah, it's totally slow and steady. Mm-hmm. Bend the bottom leg, get into the calf. Oh, this is good. My calves are so tight. Mm-hmm. And straighten up, flex the front foot, and pull it back. Yes. Okay. Good. Now let's sit on the floor. And we're just going to stretch forward. So I like to take my hands and put them under my heels because it keeps the back of your knees on the floor. So it's kind of like what the foam roller does, but like just manually. You put your hands under your heels and then stretch forward. And I like to make sure that like my back is as flat as possible before going down just to get like the deepest stretch possible. Yeah. And then I also flex my feet, pull those heels back. Woo! I always forget how tight my calves are until I do this. Yeah, always. And then you start class and you're like, ooh, I should have stretched those. <laughs> that always happens to me at SAB. Like I always forget to stretch my calves before class. And then we start plies, and I'm like, ooh, I regret that decision. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good, okay. Now we're going to start stretching our like 
turn out position, but like pulling the leg up at the same time. So I'm gonna grab under the opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, and then grab the foot, flex, and then keep it really turned out and try to keep the bottom foot turned out as well. And then pull the leg up as much as you can. You also wanna to try to keep your back as flat as possible too. Yes. Really like pull it up. And then I kinda of just like to do bends and straightens as well. So that like you're not holding it in that position the whole time. And then you can slowly work your way up to the, the holding position. And let's switch legs. And up we go. It's funny, I used to have um, a rhythmic coach. Oh my god! Yeah. That's cool. Go to her house and she would really help me stretch. Did she have like a gym? Um, she did, but um, I did. I like did coaching at her house. Um, uh, and stretch. I'm always tighter on one side. Mm-hmm. How often do you think you do this routine of yours? I do this routine maybe every three days, maybe. Because like it's hard like with the whole scheduling of like SAB and stuff and this routine takes a little bit more time than like my usual like warm-up routine for classes. Yeah. So I just try to like do it as much as possible, like maybe after class or something, just to get that stretch afterwards. Like once you're done like tightening your muscles and squeezing all your muscles, it's good to like kind of like release that tension and like stretch it out. Yeah. <laughs> now we're just gonna go into a butterfly. I am terrible at butterfly. Like, I literally, my knees cannot touch the floor. Like, we have these, like, I see all these, like, little kids, and my knees just, like, I'm like, how do you do that? Well, I'm just trying to say, my butterfly is just not it. Like, I have one hip that is, like, up more than the other. Uh -huh. Never like, like, to balance it out. I even notice at the bar, like, one side, like when we do tondus on one side, it's so much easier than the other side, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> so annoying. I feel that. Let's push the knees now. But like, it's funny, like I can push it down and it just doesn't stay down. Weird, I cannot push it down without a wall behind me. <laughs> so like, uh, like, if I'm in the center without the wall, I'm like struggling. I'm like, eh. <laughs> okay. Now we're just going to cross one leg over the other leg. So you put your right heel over your left heel and then stretch forward. I love this one. It feels so good. I learned about this one, like, not recently, but maybe like a year ago. And it, like, it helped me so much before classes because it really just loosened up my hip area. I also like this one where you go like this. Yes! I feel like that one's even like better. Like the, you get a deeper stretch from that one too. We can do both. <laughs> SAB 2019, I auditioned for SAB again and I got in the winter term again and I was really excited that um, they yeah. They saw something in me again. I was like, yay. <laughs> so that year we decided to take it. I was like, mom, taking it. She was like, okay, you can live on your own. You can do it. I was like, I can do it. So yeah, come September of 2019, hopping on a plane and moving to New York. I mean, it's such like, it's the best feeling to get a call from your parents. Yeah. Like, guess what? Guess what? You got into winter term. Oh my God. Wait, we should talk about how we found out, like the call. Okay, so 
Okay. I would call my mom after every class and be like, did you hear anything? Like, they uh -huh. haven't invited anyone to my class yet. I'm getting a little worried. I don't know if it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And there were some nights where I was just like, I don't know if it's going to happen, mom. Like, kind of like, look at, can the look uh, at the Get a little teary, yeah. I just want it so bad. Mm -hmm. And eventually, it was like the third week, and they, they were a little bit later asking for our summer. They were. Yeah, I didn't get asked to like, fourth week and by the third week of me like calling my mom after every class and like did you hear anything she was like okay here's what's gonna happen if I hear something I'm gonna send you the star emoji okay and, oh, so I, know. and we, I think we were both just like I need to stop calling after class wondering yeah and you just see stop about it yeah I was like I just need to take my classes and just do me and so mm -hmm. nothing went by, still didn't get the star emoji. It was kind of like, wasn't really there. And I kind of stopped checking my phone after ballet classes because I was just like, you know, it happens, it happens. I'm not gonna really, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. And I remember it was, I think it was a Friday and I was in Megan Mann's class, my second class for point in the back studio. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even check my phone. I put my clothes back up and I walked back upstairs and I had plugged my phone in because I was back in my room and there was a star emoji, mm -hmm. my mom, my dad, my brother. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. So I called my mom. <laughs> ah, she did it. Oh, is this real? It, it is, is so real, real, baby. So <laughs> the light's bad, the light's bad. <laughs> Did she it. did it. <laughs> she did it. Our baby did it. We are so proud of you, babe. We are so, so proud. So of you. proud. My sister did it. What level did I get in? C2. C2. <laughs> <laughs> did you did it, you Kelly, you did it. it. On the spot, babe. Oh, good. Congrats. You did it. You And I just like oh bawled. I was so excited. So special. I love that. <laughs> just like and all that hard work and having your parents tell you. It, there's just something so sweet about that. Which side is it? I know, right? Okay. Now we're just gonna go into this position here. I really like this one. I've recently started doing this one. I never used to do it before. I used to do it when I was younger. But, like, I kind of, like, stopped it. It's really good for, like, pre-middle splits. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I am not great at middle splits. Okay. Me neither. I was so bad when it comes to, like, hip flexibility stuff. And that's why, like, my turnout suffers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Talk about hip flexibility, Tyla. That is, like, you're the definition. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Falling over. Okay. Then I straighten one leg out. And I try to really get in one line. And then push this knee back, back as much as possible. I always like to sit back. I need to just like stay on top. Yeah, I used to do that as well, but then I did a summer intensive and we did like a little stretch class and she was like, Yeah, you need to stay sitting forward. I was like, Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and switch. Oh, my hip just cracked. It pops. Oh, my God. Both of us just... <laughs> it cracks. It's honestly so satisfying, though. It is. I, mean, just... I feel like I can't, like, go into class without, like, all my bones cracking first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, middle split. So you're just going to open to a middle split. And then I like to do a little bit of like port de bras and arm movements in this position just to like start getting the arms loose. So I like to kind of stretch side and then front and then switch and then up and then side, front, switch, side, front, switch, up, side. Switch up side front 
switch up. Good. Um, from there, I just flex my feet and then stretch forward, um, trying to keep my toes up to the ceiling first. I always struggle with this one. Oh, okay, you sis, I'm trying to like lay down. You gotta move. Okay. And then I go all the way over with my feet. Yeah, on the floor. I sometimes like to cross one arm over and then you take this one and then twist and you just hear all the cracking. Oh my gosh, I'm lacking on arm flexibility. Try like putting it down and then like throwing it back. Oh my gosh, Tayola. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for like the sides because like it cracks your back. Like wait, let me see if I can get it. Oh, did okay. you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I used to love to do. And our teachers used to be like, oh my god, <laughs> the cracking and the popping. And I bend into a froggy and then start stretching my back. So I push up. And sometimes I like grab my legs in the back and then go side to side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> non rhythmic dancer here. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great though. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I don't know if we'll put this in, but my stretch coach, I used to go to her and like afterwards she would stretch me so hard that I would get a fever. My God. From like all of the stretching, like she used to you you know she would like come behind you and like stretch. And then like blah. my one of my rhythmic teachers, we used to go on our knee and she we put our leg up and she'd stick her knee in my butt and then like go like that with my leg. I used to be like, all of us used to cry. She would also make us like stand like these and do like hundreds. Oh my god, I hated those, especially like, walking across the floor like this. The worst. I know. Now we're just gonna go into some lunges. So we're gonna put the right leg out, then I'm going on my foot, and then elbows on the floor. Then you put your foot back on the floor, sit up, and then just kind of hold this position. Yeah, then I straighten my back knee off the floor in like a turned out position, mm -hmm. and I kind of just hold that turned out position with my arms up. And we slide to split. That, I like trying to keep the back leg turned out, but then try to keep the body square. Wow, that stretch really helps. I, I feel like so loose. Mm hmm It's great. I love, I can never just like go into a split right away. I always have to do my lunges first. Then I just feel a lot more comfortable when I go when I go into a split. Wow. Then I grab, try to bend the back leg, and then like pull it in to stretch this part. Oh, that feels so good. Mm hmm People are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, that feels good. <laughs> that feels good, and they're like doing it. It's like, ah. <laughs> uh, I feel like dancers are just one of the weirdest kind of people. I love her. Like, they're like, ah, the pain, so good. The pain feels so incredible. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. Other leg lunge. Oh. This is my not good side. I just, this one's my good side. The other one was my no good side. Are you a lefty or a righty? I'm a righty. Great. Can you yeah. give us a little insight or like what it's about mm -hmm. what 
is this? This is a story. It's an idea. It's about chasing your dreams. And looking beyond. Let's go on and light this candle. That's my line. Is this really happening? I entertain the impossible. Let's do it. Astronauts. Woohoo! We will have many adventures. We will laugh, we will cry, we will dance. This is the way. Basically, Disney Plus mm-hmm. has done a partnership series with the School of American Ballet and Imagine Documentaries. And it's basically, it's called On Point, and it follows the year um, in a life with um, students who go to the School of American Ballet from the younger school to the advanced students. Mm -hmm. And basically, they follow the younger students as they go through their rehearsals and stuff, getting ready for the Nutcracker season. And they follow the upper, um, I was about to say upper school, the advanced school um, students as they um, go through the year and like their whole training process, what it's like to be at SAB, what their schedules look like, stuff like that. And yeah, it's really cool because I feel like it shows the reality of a dancer because I feel like TV shows and movies do a really good job of like over exaggerating the pain and like gruesomeness that comes with becoming a ballet dancer like black swan um <laughs> my parents like my mom was like you shouldn't watch that cow no it's just very very over exaggerated and i feel like the reality of it is that yes ballet does come with its struggles but it's about like the joy and love we feel when we perform and like when we dance and i feel like the documentary is going to do a really good job of like capturing that yeah. and like the reality of it. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I got to see the first episode so far because I had to see it for the um, interview. But yeah, everything, everything looks amazing. Aww. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, sweet. I, I'm so excited. Righty and the lefty. I kind of wish I was a righty though because I feel like everything's right oriented yeah but also like, I feel like a lot of choreography is on the left as well yeah definitely and honestly it's probably good for you because your better side is left and since mm-hmm. you're like right all the time mm-hmm. you get really strong oh uh, yeah yeah that makes sense i like that i'm gonna come back up and just hold this position Do you have any particular diet that you follow? Diet? Yeah. I just, like, I try to, like, eat healthy. I, like, wouldn't call it a diet. I would just call it, like, eating healthy and eating in, portion, like, proportions, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, not, like, overeating or, like, eating too much, like, food and stuff like that. Okay. Is that what the turned out? I actually recently started doing this one too, like the, the turned out back leg. But I feel like it gets into like your hip a lot more than like just the turned in because we're always so turned out in ballet. I feel like it works. Split. Yeah, do you remember that time at SAB where I went like vegan for eight weeks? <laughs> yeah, and then you can conv- you convinced me to try it too, and I like after one day I was done. <laughs> 
You were so good at it. I was like, how is she doing this? Honestly, I really surprised myself. It wasn't actually that hard, but it was so funny. I was like, Taylor, you should do it. And you're like, I'm going to do it. And one day later, I catch you in the cafeteria, and you're like, eating a burger, and I <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh god, I can't. But then literally I'd always come in your room and steal your like little coffee bean chocolate things. I'd be like, hey, can I have some more of those? I'd be like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> then the back leg, ooh, ooh, this side hurts even more. This was always like my worst because like I never like stretch this as much as I should. Like, it hurts more than, like, any other thing that I do. <laughs> do you think, like, stretching your muscles, too, allows them to be longer and more lean? Yes. I, like, I'm a strong believer in that. Because I feel like you can do, like, it's a mixture of doing exercises that are, like, for long leanness and doing exercises that are more for, like, building the muscle but I feel like you have to like pick and choose if you want like long lean muscles you should do exercises that promote the long lean muscles and like stretching afterward to really elongate them and I feel like that's something that I really got in rhythmic because rhythmic is all about um being long and lean I guess and like that was kind of like how it was oriented so like all of the exercises that we were taught really promoted that, I guess. So yeah, I feel like there are exercises for um, different kind of things and different things that you want and want to work on. Gotcha. Uh, okay, moving on. We are going to go into the over splits. Oh, yay. <laughs> so let's grab a chair. A little chair. I'm a roller. I don't know where I should start. I don't know which way I should go. I think I should okay. this. Tell you what I call tear. Because that's how I usually do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do my best. Maybe I'm like really warm. You can do it. You can do it. And then I also want to talk about this too. Um, so I recently found a new way of doing over splits that I like with these little like yoga block things and you basically like put it on the floor and then you put your back knee on it and then you put your leg up on the chair or whatever and then you go into the over split but it's good because it's more comfortable if you want to do a turned out position on the back leg and then you kind of just like hold it like that and then it also like gives you a little bit more elevation so you can like sink. Oh my god, I love <laughs> you can do it. You can totally do it. You you got this. You got this. Okay. <laughs> We're only gonna do. Okay, you get to choose how long you want to do. Like ten seconds. We can do. Let's do thirty seconds. Okay. Yeah. Arms up, oh, chair. Is that how you time it? Yeah, I like take my timer with my phone. I use I usually do two minutes, but we can do it slow. We're we'll take it slow. So let's do thirty seconds with arms on the floor. Ten seconds with arms up. Uh oh. -uh. We can do it. We can do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really try to do the top leg as well turned out. If you want, you can like flex it. Thirteen. My chair is a roller chair. Yeah, and that was I used to do it on that chair at SAB. It used to be so uncomfortable because it was always sliding. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Arms up. Okay. Oh. You can do my body. <laughs> I'm going for roller. <laughs> You're like, okay, we're done here. <laughs> okay, let's go to the other leg. Ugh. Ooh, my, I feel very open, though. 
It does, right? But it's good to like take over splits in like moderation and try not to overdo it because I've injured myself sometimes when overdoing over splits. <laughs> and it's just not great. You always just want to like take it as the best you can. So, do the foam roller like me. <laughs> okay, I'll do the foam roller. Let me get it. Okay. Foam roller. <laughs> such a difference from the chair. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Your doggy is so cute. Thanks. She just wants attention. She, like, usually doesn't pay any attention to me, but when I'm, like, actually doing, like, something important and not paying any attention to her, she loves me. <laughs> What? She's like, give me attention now. <laughs> okay. Out of the over split. Now we're going to do middle split. I like to do middle split two different ways. So, like, the first way is just, like, regular middle split with, like, the foot facing the ceiling, and then you stretch forward. And then the other way is all the way over like this. And we're just going to do this way first. I like doing this way because it's good for um, turnout and all a second as well. I like it. Switch forward. So going into more of a serious conversation, COVID. Yeah. Yes. We all left very, very abruptly. Was not expecting yeah. that. Obviously. Thank you for being gone for the length of a summer intensive. Yeah, it was like, oh, no, matter. <laughs> we were all kind of freaking out. We were like, this is a long time. Like, this is the length of the summer intensive. <laughs> like, I only packed for five for the clothes. Yeah. So, like, coming back and seeing all my boxes, I'm like, I've missed your clothes. Yeah, literally. I have a video of, like, I took a video before we left. I don't know. I can't believe, like, I actually did that, though, because like, that's so weird. But I, because I never take a video of, like, my room. I was like, that's, why am I doing this? But I guess, like, it was my subconscious being like, you're not coming back, sis. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, I took my phone out, and I took a video of, like, our clean, like, room and everything was set up. Uh, and it made me so sad. The sun was, like, just shining through the room, and it was, like, so pretty. And then... I just, like, look at it from every now and then to, like, remember <laughs> what it looked like. Ah, uh, yes. For some reason today, I just feel, like, a lot more limber. It's really weird. So, like, for the past few days, I've just felt, like, really stiff. And, like, today, I'm just feeling, like, I don't know. It's really weird. I just have days sometimes. Like, days when it's, like, really, like, good, and then days when I just feel, like, Bleh. I totally feel that very tired right now. I think it's because I was on an airplane pretty recently and I always get so tired. Yes. Oh. Like, like I'd be in the airport like doing this and people would be like, what is she doing? I know. Okay, I switch sides. Ah, I'm making so much noise. My neighbors are gonna kill me. And <laughs> stretch. <laughs> And that's basically all I do for stretching. After that, I do like some muscle strengthening. I feel like it's really good to do like strengthening after you're done stretching as well. So you're not just like stretched out and then that's it. So what I usually like to do, I like to do kicks. <clears throat> I can either do them on the floor or standing up, but I would do like 10 kicks to the front, 10 kicks to the front with the other leg, then to the side, and then the other leg as well, which is fun. And then I would also like to afterward do like my um, turnout exercises and like out a second exercises. So it depends. Which one do you want to do? Um, wait, what's the turnout one? The turnout exercises, 
Okay, yeah, we can do those. That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll do some of them. So you lay down on the floor, feet in second position, and flex your feet and like turn them out as much as possible. And you're gonna do point, flex, then slowly slide into like a second position, pushing your knees down and like keeping your back flat. And then point, flex, and then straighten, trying to keep your knees out as much as you can and your butt under and then point flex. And you just wanna keep doing that like really slowly and like feeling the resistance and like every muscle in your hip and just keep going like that. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. Mm -hmm. I, you, I always do this one before class. So it's really good to like start opening up your hips more. And then after that, I flip over to the other side and I do the same thing. Ooh. Let me move the chair. Ugh, there. So you go in second position like that. That you know, like, came toppling down on me. <laughs> Maybe my chair because it's like in the way. Okay. Ugh. It's a struggle to get these up. Yeah, these one, this one's even worse. And then you gotta slide into it. I have to always lift my butt up a little bit. And then when I try to go down, I try to keep it down, but it's like so hard. Um, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so hard. Yeah. These ones are usually such a struggle for me. I hate these ones, but they're so good. <laughs> there. Yeah, those are two that I like to do. Um, okay, we talked about this for podcast slightly. But uh -huh. these are like seriously my favorite. Yes. They are amazing. They are. Balanced body, zero resistance, turn up this. They, I need to get my hands on those. Like literally, you can do so much on it. You could probably like work your um uh like your arm muscles if you want to But my favorite thing is I literally I have my teacher, he showed me how to do these. So basically you take it your hand with um, and you just focus on turning in and turning out. Oh From my god, you turn out so good. <laughs> and then you oh like, my god. Plie. Like, these are seriously amazing. I love, I need to get myself some of those. What are uh, they called? They're called Balanced Body Turn Out Disc. Balanced uh, Body. You can find them at www.pilates.com. I definitely need myself some turnout discs because I have like so many different things here. Like this one I use for, um, what's it called, stability because it's like a squishy, like it's really squishy and like meant for balance. So like I would stand on it like this and then kind of like use it for balance and I'd lift my leg in arabesque so like do cool. whatever I need to do. And it's like really, really hard to balance on them. Yeah. <laughs> but I try the best. <laughs> are so difficult. Yeah. I really yeah. love it. I recently found this in one of my boxes. And oh my it's god, like, it's so upset. Is it the, the muscle is it the muscle gun? Oh my god, I love those. Oh so good. Favorite. My dad had one of them and he gave it to me but I ended up leaving it at his place. Oh. And I was so upset. I was like no you know, it really gets into like that fashion eye mm -hmm. by the knee. Yeah. I know. Love it. But yeah, that's the end of my stretching routine for the leg flexibility. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm feeling very warm right now. We need to go yeah. to the ballet class. Yes. What'd you say? So now we need to go take the ballet class. Yeah, now I have to think about it. I know.
Uh, but it was fun. I, I like doing stretching with other people because I never do that. I'm just always alone. <laughs> I know. Stretching is more fun when you can like talk to someone. Yeah. Thank you so much, Evan. Let's rep our cute life. Yes! You can dance wear. Love them. Love them so much. Oh my god, ours are kind of similar. Mine yeah, just have like the stripes in. So funny. Like, where is like your elastic band on your leg? Mine, I like to keep it at my ankle. So like I would put it over my ankle and then I'd like bag it over like that. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a perfect length for me, okay? Uh-huh. Look <laughs> where the elastic is. <sighs> but I feel like it's great because you can like do it any which way you want. Like you can. Like it's really oh, great. Now. Like if you just hold like your upper leg, so great. This is like okay. this is me putting the elastic like right by my knee. So it's like right by my upper leg and it's like great for like any spot that you want to put it in. My favorite thing, okay, is to turn it inside out and then uh -huh. and you fold it in half so you match the elastics like this. Mm -hmm. And then the elastic part and put it right here. And then yeah. just like, drop under. So it's just like your calves that can stay warm for like tondus or something. Oh my gosh, that, bro, you're so inventive. I never thought about that. And then that is wear it for your pants or something. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. That is very cool. And that's not that like so unique because you can't really do that with any other leg warmers. Uh huh. I love that. Yes. Yes. Inventiveness, creativity. Creativity. Thank you. I'm so excited about this. And I'm like, literally, I'm so grateful that you decided to do this. Thank you. I'm so grateful that you even had me. I was like, oh my gosh, what? Is she with me? Of course. Are you kidding? You're amazing. Aww. And I'm so excited for you to come back. I feel like I'm just like missing my whole little suite that we had. I know. <laughs> it's so sad. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gone. Wait, wait, is anyone there that you know? Well, Dominica is my like roommate for two weeks. Um, but I really, I have not seen anyone else. Like we literally cannot leave our rooms. Yeah, do you know who else is there though? I think David, Tate, Maya, um, oh, Alex, Lily, I think that's it. Huh. Wait, yeah. so none of the advanced men are there yet? Because I know some of them are coming for the full year. Yeah, this is just the people like in hot spots that had to quarantine. Oh, oh, okay, that makes so much sense. <laughs> I miss okay. you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you for even having me. Of course. Bye. Bye. Text me. I will. I will. Bye. I just want to thank Tyla for helping us get to the point so you can decide what comes next for you. So please tell your friends and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Don't forget to subscribe to the Callie Kleeman YouTube channel for the episode bonus content. You will also want to follow the podcast Instagram account, get to the point underscore podcast, so you can stay updated and send any questions you have. You can even request guests or send me ideas. I'm here for you and we're in this together. I'm Callie Kleeman and you've been listening to Get to the Point. See you next week. Bye everyone. These are new designs that haven't come up on the website yet, so um, you guys get an exclusive oh my gosh, take it of new, new designs. Um, so this is the first one. We really started with our logo, so we're putting our logo on here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Like the dance wear. And these ones, I don't know if fabric comes up really well on screen, but it's a kind of like a forest green with, mm -hmm. all, with white stripes in it. Really, really cute. They're so soft. We came out with um, a pair of black ones as well that have fleece inside of it. So oh, it's great for winter, especially in New York. Mm -hmm. It gets 
too cold in New York. So like the fleece one, leg warmers are so great. And plus they come in black. So like if you want to wear something else with it, you can always like mix and match and stuff like that. So it's not just like some crazy color leg warmer that you can't like match your colors with. This is another pair. We haven't done, I realized that we haven't made dark brown ones. I feel like earlier in the beginning, I made, my mom made some light brown ones, but these ones are a dark brown. Let me see if you can see the fabric. This is a very dark brown color. It's really, really pretty in person. It like really pops. And like, it also has a little bit of gray in it as well. You can like see in the fabric. It's really, really cute. That's it. Um, oh, these ones are a little fun. Okay. So we are thinking of starting something called the designer collection. So it's like, the fabrics are very, um, like very out there fabrics. So they're not like solid colors. They're like patterns. Okay. So this is one of them. It's like a really, really, really cool, like, I don't know what to call that it. Is, really like a chef pattern. Yes. Like that kind so of like pattern. Cute. It has green in it. And it's a very like articulate fabric. Like there's a lot of detailing on it. Like the patterns and stuff that you can see up close. I don't know if it like you can see. Oh my up gosh, close. I love. And I feel like it's oh. really, really cool. I love it. Yeah. So these are like you guys got the sneak peek of the ones I'm about to put on the website. Thank you. My favorite thing about these, I don't know if I've already talked about this, but the bottom has like an elastic. And yeah. so you can fold it under and have the bottom like a boot cut, or you can put like this part on your point shoe, whatever yeah. your heart desires. Like that is, uh -huh. I love that. It's great. And also some of them are, um, they're also some of them have like a, a good thinness to them. So if you want to put things on top of the leg warmers, you can totally do that as well. Like if you want to put your, jeans or like I don't know whatever on top of the leg warmers will work out because of how like thin some of these are totally. which is really great but of course you have that really good winter kind of fabric you would have to go like for the thicker ones so it's really cool that you can like change it and change it and change it and change it it's great Definitely. I remember when we were going to like the shows in um the Bronx or Brooklyn I would wear these mm -hmm. like I would wear them all the way high up and I would put my mm -hmm pants over that and I was perfect there guess what I was so inspired by you that I do that all the time now is like, it I got so good you. Oh, yeah okay. I literally got that from you I do that now all the time I literally like these pants like I literally wear my leg warmers <laughs> under and then like fold these up or do whatever and like it keeps my hips warm my legs warm I remember at the, when we were warming up, I was like, oh my God, I love that. I love how she's wearing that. And I just got inspired ever since. And I wear it like that now, like all the time. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, I am super <laughs> excited for you, Tyla. And everyone needs to go check out her website, get you a pair of these amazing leg warmers. They are amazing. And it's just support an amazing brand. You and your mom are making them Thank incredible. You. Thank you so much. Yep, go check it out, guys. And then I would go back to the oh, last class. Sorry. And that was Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Both of us get calls. Hey, I'm, I'm being. Let me check. Wait, let me. Call you later. <laughs> Love you. Say hi to Tayella. Hi, Tayella. Hi. Hi. If you want. Oh my god, can I be featured? Ah! Yes. You can be featured in one of my bloopers. Okay, wait, I'll show them what I'm doing though. <laughs> She's doing slow, everyone. Her. Like a She's good. Cool, guys. No, I'm actually not. I've been here for like three hours. But okay, have fun, guys. Love you, bye. Bye. in person. <laughs> Love you, bye. I mean, this podcast here. Love you, bye. Yeah. Um, sorry, like it's like oh sort of ringing and um. Anyway, 